Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, it is time to wake up. I had to share this one with you today. I put a microchip in my arm and it's the best thing ever. This chip is a powerhouse. It's got everything I need. A credit card, my ID, my medical info, and even my keys. And when it's time for groceries, you just tap your wrist and bam! Transaction done. It's like magic. In a medical emergency, it can save my life. Experts can easily identify me and my medical history. I feel like a sci-fi character and I'm loving it. This amazing chip is totally free. That's right, no more digging into your pockets. And the best part, the surgery is quick. It'll give you a cookie afterwards. That's a recent story in from Australia. Now, folks, this is happening all over the world. I mean, you're hearing about the Amazon one and many, many other stories of people where they can just wave their palm and pay their grocery that way or scan their head. Uh, or even, uh, I think it was Tesla, where you can just put a chip in you, you uh, wave it near the car and it opens the car. It can lock and unlock it, you know, do things like that. So all over the world, you're hearing stories like this. But what got my attention with the story I just shared with you and look at how happy this lady was in Australia. Look at how cool she's making, making this seem. And, you know, you look at what people are saying on social media. They share this stuff, and you look at the comments. People are saying how cool this is, and they can't wait to get their microchip to be able to store all their info on it and pay their bills and wave their palms so they can do their groceries that way. You know, I was talking to someone a couple weeks ago, something involving the Amazon One or microchips or something, and they were saying they can't wait – to have something put in them um, so that they'll be able to keep all their info on it instead of having credit cards and IDs. They can keep it all in one place and it'll be able to hold everything there. Um, you know, years ago, I could be talking to someone about stories like this and they say, oh yeah, there's no way I'm going to let someone put a chip in me or do something else. Uh, but now it's like, just look at these stories that are coming out, like the one I just shared with you, and look at what people are saying, how cool this looks. I can't wait to get their microchip or the Amazon one or whatever so that they can uh, just make their lives easier by getting rid of their cards and their IDs. I mean, people are loving this stuff, folks. And here's the whole point I want to make. What we're watching right now is people are being conditioned, folks. They're being conditioned to eventually accept the coming mark of the beast, which you can read about. In Revelation chapter 13, there's a time coming after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. Um, and when the Antichrist is revealed and the tribulation period does begin, during the coming tribulation period, there's going to be a time where everyone that is still here is going to have to have something put in their right hand or in their forehead. And they're not going to be able to buy or sell or go about their everyday life without having this mark of the beast in their right hand or in their forehead. Now, what I just shared with you, the microchip and the other stories that are going on similar to this, that's not the mark of the beast. We're not there yet. There can be no mark of the beast without a beast. In Revelation chapter 13, when the first beast rises, that's the Antichrist. The rapture of the church occurs before the Antichrist can even be revealed. So the mark of the beast has not been implemented yet. But what we're seeing is beyond a shadow of a doubt, and it's happening People are being conditioned, folks. The masses are being conditioned to eventually accept the coming mark of the beast, which the Bible warns. When the time comes and they try to put something in your right hand or in your forehead, you're not going to be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without having this mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. You're going to have to reject it. The Bible says if you accept the mark of the beast, you will be doomed to hell for eternity. So you're going to have to reject the mark of the beast and accept Jesus Christ. And for doing this, right, most likely you will be killed for your faith. Now, what is the mark of the beast? Well, my personal opinion, and I could be wrong, is it will be a quantum dot tattoo. However, like I said, I could be wrong. I don't plan on being here when the mark of the beast is implemented because uh, I'm a born-again believer in Jesus Christ and the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ will occur before the Antichrist is even revealed and before the tribulation begins and before the mark of the beast can even be implemented. But make no mistake about it. It's time to wake up. It's happening. What's happening? The masses are being conditioned, folks, to when the time comes to accept the coming mark of the beast. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, 
You do not want to be here for what's coming on this planet. A time known as a tribulation, you can read about it in the book of Revelation chapter 6. Through Revelation chapter 19, it's going to be the worst time in human history. You do not want to be here for what's coming. It's time to get saved. How are you saved? Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only thing that can save you. Jesus is coming soon and you don't want to be here for what's coming. But any of us can breathe our last breath at any moment. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. If you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. It's time to wake up. It's happening. And Jesus is coming soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.